Hey guys, my name is Moon and welcome back for more Lost Judgment. So the plan today is to do the dastardly detective, uh, what do you call the side cases, this one. So here in Serio, or my original plan was I was going to do this one, right? The MRC. Problem is we need, we can only do this in the morning, not a sunset like this. So yeah, we need to advance the story for now. But we'll do this one first and then we'll continue the, the story later. As we haven't done this in a couple chapters. Okay, here. Bingo. Where? That's early detective. Target. Serio High. Let's go in. Bingo. Okay, here. Found a spy camera. Ooh. Yep, this angle's gonna be uh for peeping up skirts. Okay, now what? Okay, I guess I gotta find it now. Okay, let's turn around first. Okay, the next one is here. Is it you? Is it here you? We go. Oh, it was not her. Okay, I thought it was her. Bingo. A spy cam. So you're saying you want a rematch? Yeah, let's go. Hey. Hey, do you girls play basketball here often? In uniform like this? Uh, yeah. If they're jumping around in their school uniforms out here, I imagine they're the ones that these cameras are aimed at. Um, you're Yagami-san, right? With the MRC? Some of the dance club members were telling me how you were super athletic. Oh yeah? Well, he's definitely got the looks. Oh yeah. Hey Yagami-san, wanna join us for a little game? Huh? Uh, sorry, I'm kinda working right now. Uh, but didn't you ask, just, uh, ask us about playing in uniform? Doesn't sound like work to me. Sounds like you wanna take a break and have some fun with us. No way. Okay, very funny. Well, why else would you be asking us? Come on, I could be a really good teacher. What? I could be... <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Look, is he turning red? How adorable. You always look so serious. I don't even know you had a cute side. Good lord, this school. <laughs> True. What is wrong with this school, man? Okay, so she mentioned a dance club, so I guess we need to go there. Let's go. Okay, we're here. Now, uh, where? Okay, here, here, here. Bingo. There. Another camera. Okay, there's a spy cam in the dance club too. Nishizono. Yagami-san. What's going on, Yagami-san? Nishizono, do you lock up the club room and the, the rabbits aren't using it? Yeah, just to be safe. So, who in the club has a key? So just me and Maria. I, I doubt anyone in the dance club installed a camera in here. Does it mean someone broke in? Uh, is something wrong? Well, the thing is... Huh? What? A spy cam? Don't tell me the- don't tell the others just yet, alright? I don't want to get them upset, at least. Until- not until I find whoever installed it. Oh, she's crying. Dude. Hmm? What's the matter? When we had a practice the other morning, I was too lazy to go all the way to the locker room, so I changed in here. Oh, that's why she's crying. I was the first one here and no one else was around, so... Um... Oh, well... Sorry to hear that. Okay, does this mean I'm damaged goods? Hey, we can still stop this. Okay, let's not go overboard here. Yagami-san! Yagami-san! You, you find that creep and you give him one for me, got it? I get it. 
Okay, on to the next one. Okay, the next one is right here. Dude, it's super hard finding these items. Or the, the cameras, I guess. Okay, the signal's coming from this locker. Hey, is something going on? You're Yagami Sensei from the MRC, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just st stopping by the campus for a bit. They say, do you know whose locker this is? Um, if I remember, that was Misaka san, but she just transferred from here, right? Yep. They haven't reassigned the locker to anyone yet. Would you guys care if I opened it? I'm actually looking for something. Go ahead. It should be empty. Anyways. Is this for a case? Yeah, something like that. Locked. Okay, I guess I'll have to pick it. Almost there. Perfect. Okay, this is a spy cam. I think someone's trying to record through the locker vents. And I'd say it was angled to shoot upwards. Hey. Okay, do you guys hang out around here fairly often? Yeah, we hang out here all the time. It's nice and sunny in this spot. The girls' lockers are close by, so people tend to meet up here between classes. Okay, I was afraid of that. It looks like someone's trying to peep up skirts here at the school. I should try and find out if there are any more cameras hidden on campus. Okay, well, I got my lead now. Thanks for the help. Oh, really? Okay, we need to find our next one. Let's go. Okay, so next one is pointing to the MRC. We need to head inside. Here we go. Let's go inside first. Yagami-san. Do you have a moment? Hmm? Hey, yeah. What's up? Okay, now that you infiltrated the nine different social circles, I'm sure you've made a number of discoveries about the professor. I think it'd be wise for us to organize all the information we've gathered so far. That way, we can begin to close in on the truth. Uh, yeah, I guess we should get started in that, huh? Please and thank you. Indeed, I'd like us to con contemplate the situation in a sort of analysis boot camp. If you will, could you join us when you find time during the day? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's a day. I can't really do anything. Like, even if I talk to her like that, it doesn't work. Okay, Bingo. where is it? Here we go. Bingo. Okay, I'm getting a signal from the ceiling. I should check it out. Yagami-san. Uh, what are you up to? Yeah. Hey, Amasawa. I'm working on something. Okay, I found it, but why in the ceiling? Yagami-san, is that a spy camera? What's going on? Yeah, it is. You see? I see. Oh, we really do have a voyeur on campus. Every camera was angled to shoot up the girl's skirts, except for the one hidden in the MRC club room. Wait, that would mean the culprit felt it was worth setting up a camera here, but not enough to warrant angling it up skirts, or as it turns out, my skirt in particular. <laughs> It seems I've dodged a proverbial bullet, but I'm curious, in, is this because the culprit has some perverse bodily preference? Or perhaps he isn't a fan of my brand of... Uh, no, you'd have to already know what they look like. Is this really the time to get lost in deductive reasoning? I better come up with something before Amasawa gets lost in there. Why would a voyeur only watch the MRC from the ceiling, while all the other cameras were down low? Maybe he keeps, uh, he's keeping tabs on the MRC. Yeah, this one. <laughs> Maybe he's not just that into it. I want to try this one. Let's see what she says. <sighs> wow, I'm not sure what to make of that. So, thanks. I hate it. <laughs> Furthermore, if that were true, why would the culprit set up a camera here in the first place? Hmm. 
I suppose that's a good point. After all, sniffing out dirty deeds is one of your main activities. Oh, I see. I mean, that's a possibility. Amasao, you have the key to this door, right? Do you always lock up when you leave? Yes. yes pretty much every time. Apparently, the dance club locks her door too, but a camera still ended up in there. Okay, that would mean the culprit has the ability to gain access to multiple rooms on the campus somehow. If that is true, then how do you do it? A master key, I guess, right? Hey. Okay, Sierra's got some sort of master key, right? Who has access to that? Well, that would be... Which means... Oh, I think I figured it out. Mm -hmm. Really? Cracked the case already? Possibly. Well... So, the only one with access to the master key is the school custodian. Several teachers used to have their own copies, but after some amount of school property went missing, all the keys were collected and destroyed, save one. The copy belonging to the man who performs various inspections and repairs all over the campus in every room. The students and staff at Serio see him about him going about his business each day and all the shootings for necessary work. In other words, in other words, a custodian can do as he pleases by the grace of being essentially invisible while at school. I see. I see. Nice work, Mr. Fiend. That does sound like a plausible theory. I wouldn't say for sure, Yagami-san, but I think the custodian is our prime suspect right now. All right, I'll see what I can get out of him before I take any for anything any further. I mean. Okay, someone is watching us. Oh, there he is. That's Oguru-san, our custodian. Oh, hey there. How's it going? Was that the same guy in the beginning, Excuse though? Me. Um, Oguru-san. The one smoking? I think it's a different guy, right? Okay, how are you today, Amasawa-san? I'm doing well. There's something I wanted to ask you, actually. Oh, are you on the case? Yes. Yes, that's right. Okay, does this look familiar? Crap. Guilty as charged. Excuse me. Um, I'm sorry. Did you just say crap? Well, would you mind if I got your fingerprints? I'll be quick. I may have been found out, but I will not go down for this. Fine, I'll beat you up first. I've dedicated my entire life to the art of upskirt photography. I'm not letting my work end here. I'll do whatever it takes to escape, hear me? It can't be. Oguru-san, our nice old custodian. I can't believe it. Okay, stay back, Amasawa. Nishizono asked me to give him something. That was so easy, though. <laughs> hey. Okay, where'd you get the cameras? I hired this detective to look into my wife. After the job, I got him to sell me these. At a good price, too. Okay, tell me everything you know about this detective. Not much. We only ever talked online. All he told me was he worked for the illegal detective agency. Hmm. Oh, yeah, there it is again. The damn agency. So, what happens to me now? Uh, we're going to see the chairman and let him decide. I'd say you're lucky if you only end up fired. Well, I'd say case closed. Yeah. yeah, but we haven't addressed the cause yet. I still need to catch that corrupt detective. I've been hearing about him. How dare he sully the title of detective. Okay, please Yagami-san, catch this no good fraud as soon as you can. Yep, that's a plan. But yeah, this is one of the longest uh, dastardly detective side cases, right? The others were super, super uh, short. This one is quite long. And it was actually hard because I needed to run around school and find a signal. 
Okay, so we got another one. So, yeah. Uh, let's check it out. Where it is. Um, okay. Right here. Okay, I'll go there. Okay, I think it's right here. Here we go. Oh, there we go. What do you call this again? A manhole? Is this the signal coming from that manhole? What in the... Leave me alone, a woman. Who's that? Huh? Whoa, a lady? From the pit of despair. What? Come again? Wait, are you not? No. No, I'm a detective named Diagami. A detective? Okay, I've been going around town hunting down wiretaps by tracking their signals. Did you know you're giving off a, 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 one right now? What? I am. By the way. Also, you mentioned stalking. Is something wrong? Yes, uh, this guy's been following me since yesterday. No matter where I run or how for how long, he keeps showing up. I figured you wouldn't find me in the sewer. Huh. Okay, I see. Well, I think you've been bugged. I guess it's hidden somewhere on you. Hey, that's probably why your stalkers always find you. Oh, I'm bugged. But where? I've got this detector, so let me find the source. Okay, it is in your... Not your face. Okay, do you have anything in your pocket? My pocket? The phone is bugged. Hmm, just my cell phone. Yeah, there it goes. Your phone appears to be bugged. In fact, I'm certain. I had no idea. Okay, someone would have had to disassemble the phone to get one in it. So can you think of any the, any time where that uh, would have been possible? Okay, now that you mention it, I took it in the other day when the battery started messing up. So are you telling me that the man from the re repair shop did it? It's quite possible. God damn it. I can't believe this. You know what? Screw this thing. You just threw the phone. Okay. <laughs> Are you sure that was wise? It's fine. I'll buy another one. Great. Just what the water cycle needs. Cell phones. Hmm? Okay, what's he doing? He cut each on. I'll follow you to the depths of the sea. <laughs> okay, this is a stalker, I guess. If I have to. We jumped into the water, actual dumbass. Guess he thought you fell in the river. I forgot I can't swim. Off he goes, like the rest of the trash in the water. So does that mean I'm safe now? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I suppose so. But if you ever have any any other trouble like this, please reach out to me so I can refer you to a great lawyer. Thank you so much, Yagami San. Okay, do we, do we still have more? Okay, we still have more. Okay, where's the next one? Okay, up there. Alright, let's go. Okay, so the signal is here. Here we go. The ramen bowl. Okay, I'm getting a signal from a ramen bowl. It looks like someone ordered it to go and left the bowl here for someone at the ramen shop to pick it back up. A bug, a bug's attached to the bottom. Did someone at the ramen shop plant this? The secret ingredient. Hmm. Can I help you? Yep. Yes, actually. I see. The bowl is bugged. How strange. Okay, whose was this? Our president. Hmm. It sounds like he was a target. But why bug ramen? He's so busy that he usually works through lunch. Since he's usually having some sort of meeting while eating, perhaps one of our competitors is spying on him? I see. I see. That would certainly get a ramen bowl inside an office without any questions being raised. And since they get all picked up later, the evidence is taken away without a fuzz. Oh, does it mean someone at the ramen shop is behind this? Yep. It could be. There's a corrupt detective in town. 
and he's behind most of these recent bugging incidents. Maybe he slipped into the shop as a part-timer or something. Okay, I'll keep an eye out on the staff for a while. Somewhere out of sight. Excellent. Thank you so much for helping us. Or for helping with this. Okay. I guess we need to follow that guy. Oh, this is our guy. Okay, he's not in uniform. He probably isn't going back to work after this. Mid-30s, 180. Certainly fits everything I know so far about the detective. Okay, am I finally about to catch the guy? Dude, this is not a detective. Like, look at him. He looks like a K Heen gang member. If so, he's probably headed back to wherever he's hiding out. I should tail him. A smoke break. Maybe he's not hot headed or not headed for his hideout after all. It doesn't seem like he's going anywhere anytime soon though. Time to shift into interrogation mode. Excuse me. Hi there. You work at the ramen shop? I'm a detective named Yagami. Oh, the detective. I've been waiting for you. Good to finally meet you. So, can I get that 100 though? 100,000 now. Okay, you've been waiting? Hmm. Okay, I think he's mistaking me for the corrupt detective. Guess they were planning to meet up here. But that means this ramen slinger is not my guy. Maybe an accomplice or a hired hand. He said it was good to finally meet me though. He must not know what the detective looks like either. Hello? Hmm? Now's no good. A payment will come later. What? Then, who are you? Huh? Damn, this went sideways. Sounds like the detective knows what's going on. Is he watching us right now? Oh no, here comes this gang. Whoa, the hell? Okay, so that's how low this detective will go, huh? Unsavory men. And savory indeed. passed out <laughs> he was so scared he passed out hey okay you're telling me you haven't met up with him you better not lie to me i won't i won't i swear i don't know the guy all the jobs i get are true email Okay, this corrupt detective is pretty damn careful covering his tracks. And I was so close this time. I barely a step away from being seen in person or seeing him in person. I guess I just have to get back to the signal hunt. Okay, I guess we're done for now for this one. Okay, let's go back to Yokohama 99. No, 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 here. No, 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 here. Hey, fellas. Hey. What's up? Welcome back, Doc. Good to see you, Yagamishi. How'd things go at school? The chairman told the entire student body about Sawa-sensei at an assembly. Everyone's pretty shaken up. Yeah. I can't even imagine. Do we talk to them, or we just rest? Talk to Chikumo. I gave the yearbook I took from her room yesterday to Sukumo. Why don't you check it out later, Yagami-san? I will, I will. Oh, I still can't wrap my head around what I saw last night. We have to avenge Sawa-sensei. Right, Tak? We've been waiting for you, Yagamishi. Let's plan our next moves. Are you ready? Yeah, let's do it.
While in a meeting yesterday, Sawa-sensei received a call that her apartment was broken into, prompting her to go home. Judging from the events that followed, RK must have called her using the apartment manager's name. And that's how they got to Sawa-sensei. But RK wasn't after Sawa-sensei. They were actually after Kuwana, weren't they? Yeah. Akatsu and Soma both said so. I think Sawa-sensei was used to lure Kuwana out. Why would Sawa-sensei be bait to draw out Kuwana? How the hell are those two connected? That too, but why is RK even after Kuwana-san? Thugs from Kamurocho want a handyman in Nijincho? Right. There's still a lot we don't know. We need to find Kuwana before RK does and get some answers out of him. Kuwana isn't even his real name. Apparently it's Kitakata. RK didn't seem to be familiar with the name Kuwana. Truth is, we don't know anything about Kuwana. All we know is that he's a handyman in Ijinsho. I haven't been able to contact Kuwana-san since yesterday, but I left a message asking him to reply. Where's the office for his handyman business? He ran his whole operation from a cell phone. Not even his business card lists and address. Oh yeah, Kaito-san. Didn't you call up all the places we went drinking? Did you find out where he lives? Yep, just found out. Looks like Kuwana lives in some kind of prefab shack off West Central Street. Sounds like pretty shitty conditions for a guy charging up the ass for his time. Well, if we know that much, we might as well go take a look. Huh. <laughs> I was hoping you'd say that. Tsukumo, we'll talk more later. <laughs> you never slow down, Yagamishi. I never will. Okay, let's go to Kuwana's house. What is it? Kuwana! Where is it? Okay, it's there. This Kiwana's place? Yeah, I think so. Guess it's kind of fitting for an unlicensed handyman. Yeah, at least he has a home. What the? Uh. Huh? What is it? Well, someone broke into the door's it. been forced open. Maybe with a crowbar or something. If anyone was in here before us, it had to have been RK. Aside from us, they're the only ones after him. Why is it always dusty? Every place, every room. That means they're already a few steps ahead of us. RK's got the numbers behind him. We can't beat him to the punch every time. I don't think Juan has been back since last night. He probably caught on that he's a wanted man. He might not even be in Ijin Cho anymore. Then what do we do here? His real name's supposedly Kitakata. I want to know who he really is and why he used a fake name. That'll make his connection to Sawa-sensei clearer. So you want to find clues that point to his true identity? Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Took the words right out of my mouth, Kaito-san. Okay, I need to... I need clues to uncover Kiwanis for identity. Hopefully there's something left here. What the... An ashtray. Huh. That's weird. What? With all the gross garbage in here, this ashtray is oddly empty. Think so? Suspicious. What the? I mean, Kuana uses e cigs, right? What, the? what does he need the ashtrays for? Hey. What the? Puton can imagine the stink. Suspicious. <laughs> Cigarettes. Are these Kuanas? I don't think so. Pretty sure he's been vaping. Yeah, he's been vaping all the time. But maybe he craved the real deal every now and then. Yeah, people do smoke both depending on the situation. 
Okay, you scanned the place, but we were too but we were too late. Where else can we go to learn more about Kuana? Yo, hold up, Doc. We don't have enough on Kuana to go after him. You sure you want to go back empty-handed? I feel like I checked everything worth looking at. Well, maybe there's more to something you looked at already. Besides, where else are we gonna find dirt on Kuana if we leave? Okay, more to something. I looked at already. Was there anything like that in here? Cigarettes. I don't. But maybe. Yeah. Uh -huh. Okay. Yeah, but what else? What else though? Magazines. Tissues. I mean, there's literally nothing else here. Hmm. hmm. What the? I mean, yeah, it's clean and all, but so what? Could just be freshly empty. Except it hasn't been washed or even used in a while. See the layer of dust on it? Okay, and you think a dusty ashtray is going to get us Kuana's identity? Maybe. Or maybe it's nothing. Okay, am I wrong to press on with this? No, anything, suspi anything suspicious is worth investigating. Now let's check the cigarettes again then. Suspicious cigarettes. Kuana usually smokes e-cigarettes. The ashtray looks virtually unused. What are you getting at? I don't think Kuana's smoking these cigarettes. Then why keep what you don't smoke? See, we gotta be more thorough. <clears throat> hey, look at this lighter. What now? Whoa. What's a USB drive? A USB memory stick disguised as a lighter. Damn, did you just hit the jackpot or what? That has to be important if Kuana was hiding it like this. What matters is the data on it. We'd be able to check it now if we had a computer. Then why don't we head back to Tsukumo's? I think I found something. Let's go. Oh, it got dark. Really dark. Huh? What's the matter, Tak? Looks like a meet and greet. Oh, yeah? RK. <sighs> Think they're RK? Well, they're the only ones looking for Kuana other than us, right? Don't see Soma or Akutsu, though. So, they sent the fucking B team. Probably for the best. If Soma was here, I don't think I could stay cool. Yeah, me neither. Which one of you is gonna talk? Where are Soma and Akatsu? There's no point talking to a dead man. Uh-huh. Well, if that's how you're gonna play it. And we're not holding back either. Let's go. Here we go. I'm not even warmed up. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, I'm dying. Ow! 
Where are Soma and Akutsu? I want to talk to them. We can't contact them. I swear. They're the ones who contact us. It's always been like that. Uh, figured as much. <sighs> Most of the arcade crew are just chumps. Yeah. I bet even Soma is just another piece on the board, taking orders from the real mastermind. Thugs don't work gigs that don't pay. Yet they came to a gene show outside their turf to commit murder. That's true. Sounds like someone's funding them. Must be some generous perks. Definitely. Otherwise, Soma and the others wouldn't be causing so much chaos over here. Then, who's the one pulling RK's strings? I don't know who it is, but I know what he's trying to do. Which is? Catch Kuwana. RK is just following orders, and Sawa Sensei was probably collateral damage. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, shit. I swear I'm gonna drag this bastard out on his ass! If we keep looking for Kuwana, we'll run into the one behind this all eventually. And this could be our first clue. Then we'd better get back to Tsukumo's. What's going on out here? Are you friends of Kuwana sons? Uh, yeah, we are. And those gentlemen on the ground? Those guys. Oh, yeah, they're just wasted. Little nap and they'll head right on home. Ah, I see. <laughs> well, that's just fine. Excuse me, but you know Kawana, don't you? Sure. I mean, he's lived next door for the last ten years. But he's a handyman. Any time we were short-handed, he'd come by and help us out. We'd pay him with our daily special. Okay, this man and his wife are Kiwana's next-door neighbors. Uh, I haven't heard from Kiwana since last night. But do you happen to know any places he visits often? Let's see. He has an uncle that took him in when he first came to Yokohama. Called him a distant relative or something. He's an ex-Yakuza running a bar since he got out of the game. Apparently, this uncle is how he started getting gigs around town. What did Kawana do before he became a handyman? Hmm. Beats me. Uh, maybe some kind of corporate job? I don't think I've ever asked. Where can we find Kuana's uncle's bar? Oh, the bar's called Siren. It's over in Chinatown. I've been there two or three times myself. The owner's a real nice guy. Hard to tell he was ever a Yakuza. And we better get over there, too. Can't afford to fall behind RK again. Let's hurry. Thanks for everything. And sorry for bothering you. Oh, don't mention it. Okay, we need to go to Chinatown. Let's go. I'm here. Kuwana's... Alright, let's go here. Siren. This is it, Tuck. Siren? This is the bar Kuwana's relative runs. Bar Hello? Siren. Anybody here? It's abandoned. This place empty too? It's definitely messy in here, but it wasn't exactly ransacked. Yeah, more like someone had to skip town in a hurry. Did the owner already make a break for it then? Be smart if he did. What with RK about to come hunt down Kuwana and all. Okay, what's going on here? Where's the owner? Hello? Okay. A phone. Imagine if he said, do you want to play a game? <laughs> hey, uh, the name of this place was Siren, wasn't it? Huh? Yeah. Oh! It's Soma. He's here. Hi. You've reached Siren? Oh my god, Kaito! Soma, that was well played. 
How silly of me. This pretty little thing is for women. Oh no! The kite is gonna be out of Have commission. I told you what RK stands for yet? It's red knife. A red knife. The owner must have smelled trouble coming. I guess that was the Pizza title of the other chapter, right? Find him. Red knife. Tell me. Why did you kill Sawa Sensei? Uh, I'm afraid she knew too much. And that's all. And that's all. You're in the same boat. We can't afford to ignore you anymore. And you already made a mistake. You didn't kill me when you could have. Well, I'll own up to that. Akutsu wasn't equipped to handle the task. Well then, now you pay the price for it. Will I? Kaito's down and you're by yourself. Should be easy. Dude, that's slow-mo, though. Music as well, very we nice. Go. Let's go. Okay, we defeated him, but he's still smiling though. Oh my god! He's super strong. Well, you're scrappy, aren't you? Impressive. Maybe I should have prioritized stabbing you over Kaito. You're kind of struggling to stand, aren't you? Give it a second. That kick went to your temple. I'm sure your head is spinning. Trying to rush it will only make it worse. Incidentally, Sawa Sensei didn't suffer long like you will. What the hell? <laughs> Whoever that is has terrible timing. Hello? Is this the owner? Yes. Kuanakun warned me you'd show up. I decided I'd get out of there before you did. Don't expect that I'll ever come back either. All I wanted with Kuanasan was to have a little chat. No need to go running for your lives now. <laughs> Spare me the lies. I already know you broke into a young woman's home and killed her. Come on. You wouldn't even hesitate on an old man in his 70s. Pass the phone to Yagami-san, please. Otherwise, I'm calling the cops over there. What could you possibly want with him? Quit stalling and give him the phone. Unless you'd rather I push a button and call the cops. I'm done talking to you. The owner of the bar would like a word with you. Uh, 
Sorry, but this will have to wait. Can you get an ambulance over to your bar right away? My partner took a knife to his abdomen. Lock. Please, you have to hurry! We defeated him. Hello? Your partner is in good hands now. Just as you act. I'm watching you as we speak. Oh. And don't bother looking for me. I won't be meeting you there. Instead, there's a karaoke bar called Survive. Heard of it? You'll find it in the entertainment district along the river. Safest bar in town. I only showed up at your bar so I could ask you about Kiwana. Does this mean you want something in return? We'll get that sorted out. If you promise to meet me alone. No, I won't be at Survive for long. If you don't make it in ten minutes, you'll never hear from me again. That's one way to motivate someone. <laughs> Clock's ticking, by the way. So, Survive in the Entertainment District? Correct. See you soon. It better be. Apologies for the wait. Let's go. Okay, so yeah, finished chapter 8. That last battle though, with Soma. Pretty cool battle. <laughs> He's very strong. We haven't seen Soma get beaten up, right? Yeah, damn. He's a... Uh... What, how do you how do we say it? Villain? No, 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 what? Very dangerous villain. But yeah. It's gonna be hard. We haven't found Kiwana yet. And I guess we're just gonna continue into chapter nine. Or start it at least in the next one. We'll see. Because I wanna do the school stories, right? If it's night, we'll just continue the story, I guess, until it becomes morning, right? So anyways, yeah, we'll just continue this and do more Lost Judgment in the next one. So I'll just see you then, guys. Bye-bye.